All right, guys, pulled in everything, no introduction needed. Let's do this, man. This is on the free-to-play account. We've only got 50 ancient chants to pull. We're going to be pulling like 150 more on the main account, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We go ahead and find ourselves a bone keeper, lovely. And good God, by lovely, I mean absolutely dreadfully awful. What the hell, man? I'm never going to use that champ in my life ever. Let's see if we can find out and get our hands on some better epics here as we pull for the fusion, which we are doing on this two-month-old account, by the way. Very, very exciting stuff. I have some fusions to pull as well. Um, uh, things like the good old uh, Broadmoor fusion and stuff like that that we can do to back up some extra points if we need to. And don't forget as well that uh, as Lady Atessa shows up, what the hell am I supposed to do with her, man? Oh, God. But at least we got ourselves a candle guard on the free-to-play account. My favorite rare champ. <laughs> but, uh, crap, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we're going to be pulling Skeletor, of course, uh, during this fusion event as well, and during this championship as well. Oh, my God, we got Ruella, dude! Okay, Ruella's really good. It's really good, but when we get our hands on Skeletor during the champ chase, that's an extra 500 points. So we're going to be taking that into account as well. So even if the pulls go disastrously bad, we've got ways and means, man, to hit those 3,000 uh, champ chase points that we need on the free-to-play. Triple hitter, man. Good old 10 meter steel. Amazing, amazing stuff. Triple hitter on the A2 as well, placing all kinds of great debuffs into the likes of Demon Lord Clan Boss, by the way. Love this champion, man. Oh my god. I've made so many videos talking about Ruella, man, and how I feel like she never gets the shout-outs that she deserves in, like, these, uh, best epic champion tier list videos and stuff, uh, across all the other content creators' channels, you know, so I always try to make sure to give her a shout-out as we pull a copy of High Cartoon and a Red Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally about to fuse him, like, during this event, if I have to, uh, for the points. Oh my god, dude. Okay, okay. How many do I have left? Ooh, we look at ten. Oh. I guess we got zero left now for the rest of this event. No legendary, dude. No legendary men. Sachi, Crimson Helm. Fine pulls. What's Sachi all about again? Okay, she does have an attack all enemies uh, with a chance of placing decreased accuracy. Strong version, man. The A1 is actually very, very good. The rest of the kit, not super, super hot. Um, increased attack buff on all allies. I'm, you know, the A3 is actually fine as well. It's fine as well, man. This is a fine little epic champ. I'm sure I'll find some use for her somewhere. Now, next up, Void Shards. It's a 2x on Voids as well. Those pulls didn't go super, super hot, really. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and pull the Voids as well. And then we'll see where we stand in terms of the tournament on the uh, free-to-play account just now. First, this is going to be a standard rare McCullus. Pull another. No, we're not. All right, I just cleared out some champion space real quick. Dude, this also reminds me, I've got some prism shards to pull as well uh, on the main account. The ones that I grinded up during certain events and stuff. But let's go ahead and tear open this second void. It is an epic. Ooh. Oh, God. No, oh, God damn it. Okay, by the silhouette for a second, I thought it was going to be, um, what's she called? Umbral Enchantress? Not quite, man. It's Pejma. Or however the hell you pronounce that. You know, I shouldn't underestimate her too much. She does have a pretty damn reliable uh, decreased attack, strong version debuffer on the A1. Not bad. And then a huge buff steal on the A3. Maybe going to find me some use for good old Pedro. I've never actually built her out before as well, so it'll be an interesting little experiment. So let's see how we're doing it in terms of the tournament. Those didn't feel like the best, most successful, like, high pull rate pulls in the world, but, oh, would you look at that? We're actually almost there already. Okay, so I will be going up to get the epic, uh, sorry, the legendary skill tom during this tournament because it's just an extra 650 points uh, after the fragments, and so you might as well go for that as well, but then it's a big, like, 2,000 point leap uh, to the chicken, so we're probably not going to be touching that, but we'll definitely pull enough here so that we just need 500 more points for the tom. And then when we get our hands on Skeletor as the login reward champion, done, sorted. That will be the free legendary tome as well. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so it's time to activate, just execute Order 66. And this is how we're going to go ahead and make up some points here. And um, yeah, I've just got all of these fusions sort of ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and crank these out. Two rare champions here. Um, and then eventually we're going to be, of course, uh, getting the Relic Keeper fused as well, which we'll also do in just a second. Okay, there it is. Rock Beast fused, then just got to level and uh, send these guys up, and then the Broadmoor fusion is ready to go as well. And that's an extra 350 points right there once we can also fuse the Broadmoor. But the Relic Keeper is actually just fully ready to go. And of course, this Arbiter mission is retroactive, so I can fuse this guy at any time and what time like the present, frankly, to get our hands on 250 points uh, from this guy as well. The things you got to do, man, on a super, super early game account to get through these events, you know what I'm saying? But lovely, the Relic Keeper fusion officially Done. Honestly, I could just put like 150 mystery shards as well and then get the Skeletor 
and then we'd also get the legendary skill tome, maybe that would be better than wasting the Broadmoor fusion, I think, at this time. Man, the things we've got to do indeed. Hey, if it's making you nostalgic for the early game of Raid and you're looking for a fresh start to create an, your own new Raid account, and join me in my free-to-play adventure on this account, then make sure to go ahead and sign up to Raid using my beginner promo link, which, as always, is down below at the top of the video description box. Make sure you're signed out of playing and play on your PC before you hit that link and get your hands on all of those juicy, sweet, epic champions, man. A full champion package with that promo link, dude. It's absolutely insane if you're looking for a clean start and raid. Okay, man, let's switch on over to the main account. And all right, on the main account where resources are abundant as hell, our goals are simple. We want the goddamn mythical book. That's it, really did. So let's see if we can get that. A lot of it's going to depend on the quality of our luck. Of course, I'm not sure I'm going to be pulling every single ancient shard I've got. I'm certainly going to be holding onto the void shards uh, on this main account because, frankly, I've got plenty of stuff to work on uh, regardless. So let's do this, man. Let's start off with the summon pull pull summon portal pulls we've only got two pulls here completely free ones let's see what we grab man a legendary hue would be oh my god oh <laughs> oh yo 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 boys oh my god holy crap dude bb is never gonna believe this man bb is never gonna believe this dude holy crap dude first got that prism dude i pulled so many prisms in the last event i got nothing it was a huge waste of time, huge waste of resources, huge waste of swiping. And now, doing a completely free to play on this main account, we actually just get the Vulcanus the very first pull. Holy dude. Okay, man. Today's just a good day. What can I say, man? All right, man. Second pull is literally the ugliest champ in Raid Shadow Legends, man. Look at this guy, dude. Vildrax. Does he do, like, bomb stuff or something? Now, second AoE leech. Uh, Hex, excuse me. Okay, man, just get him off my screen, dude. The absolute boobo of a champion. Okay, man. Oh, my God, dude. The Vulcanos, man. The Vulcanos. Holy crap. Okay, let, let's just let's just, just calm down, man. Get to pull him. We still got a lot of pulls to do here on this man account, but... Oh, yo, 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 he did. Glorious, 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 man. Oh, God. And then look at the look after this, dude. Look at, the, like, the snapback of the look, you know? <laughs> this turns to absolute crap instantly and just... Bunch of food champions. I do like Inga Twist Staff. This guy is great in a stun set uh, for all Sylvan Watches. Just amazing support. Also places AoE Leech as well. So like he's he just scales very very well alongside the uh, other more powerful Sylvan Watches factions and things like faction wars and stuff. Uh, just a great guy, man. Great champ overall. Burungiri, pretty solid. Good stuff. Again, we're just hoping for at least one epic pair pull so that we can make the road to the mythical skill tome hopefully a little bit smoother. Um, again, of course, we're going to be pulling Skeletor on the main account as well. Nicely on schedule, so it is an extra 500 points right there. Corpse Collector comes out. Double epic. Ooh, Kriad and the Blue. Okay, this is not a champ that I have yet on this account, I don't think. Increased speed. 10 meter fill. Great. Huge multi-hitter with a chance to play as Freeze. Another great champ uh, to build, of course, for Hard Fire Knights. But then crazy wave control as well with his A2. I can't remember if I pulled this guy recently or it was just copies of Neldor that I've been pulling recently. But yeah, Creed and the Blue, Neldor, great, great champs meant to have on the back burner for Hard Fire Knight, man. That's a good pull. I like some Creed and action. Oh my god, okay. It's a Dracomorph on the main account now, boys. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is the first legendary I ever pulled from Shads uh, on the free-to-play account. It's been such a big help, dude. I mean, here we decrease defense, here we weaken. Um, I've not been able to book him out yet on the free-to-play account, but then there's a huge multi-hitter with chances of placing poison, like 100% land rate. The only uh, drawback is the cooldown, which, yeah, the skill books, like I said, that legendary skill book on the free-to-play is going to be so, so useful. Uh, this guy is great. This guy's an amazing early clan boss damage dealer, uh, solid into just lots of wave content as well, given uh, the stacked debuffs that he's placing on the A3. Oh man, I, I can't I can't help but not, not be happy to see Draco on both of my accounts now, you know? Okay. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, dude, our luck is tend in these shard pulls, man. Like, it doesn't even matter if the rest of the pulls now are just kind of lackluster. Um, just, just wow, dude. Like, what, what a crazy stat meant to this account's pulls. Cool. I can be happy, man. Especially with the Vulcanus, dude. That's, that's, that's the most hype, right? The guy's crazy as hell. Ender Moonbeam. Ooh. 
Did I need Ender Moonbeam? Oh, I don't anymore. Okay, so the one champ. Oh my god, I still need to find a bloody Centurion? What even is this? Okay, so I, I, I still gotta somehow find a Centurion, and then it's just Fear Gun. Then we have everything we need for Makage. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, man, it's getting serious. Okay, that, that, that's getting real. That's getting real close. Okay, oh, for God's sake. Okay, one moment. Okay. Champion pool cleared out. Let's do this, man. We can put like another like 50, 60 uh, shards here. See where we end up with these. Another copy of Soul Drinker. Um, Nile Horn's coming out. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, man. Reasonable. Fine. Standard pull. Not bad. Again, I'm mostly just looking for as many epics as I can get now. Not because I particularly need them, but oh, God, what's going on here? Ugh. All rares. Yeah, they like, pulled like this to just the way. I mean, it's a lot of food, which is fine, I suppose. But it's tournament points, man. Tournament points. Tournament points is what we need, man. So just as many epics as we can get our hands on. Uh, would be grand. Oathbound. Okay. Rain Beast right at the end. Or Rain Beast, rather. Fine. Decent amount of points there. We're still a long way off the mythical tome. We might have to kind of rethink and, uh, and abort on pushing for the mythical tome here if the pulls steer like this. Who is Fang Cleric? Dude, Durandil is great. I plan on building this guy out uh, on the account. Fang Cleric? I've never even heard of this guy, man. Okay, kind of interesting, man. Single target reviver. Places it unkillable on the target. Uh, continuous heal buff when they come up as well. It's only a 410 cooldown uh, when booked. His heal though is only... Oh, it's only a single target heal, but it's a 210 cooldown. That's kind of cool. That's kind of interesting, man. Interesting little support champion. Don't know if I'm going to be rushing to build him out anytime soon, but it could be a fun little experiment. Get some fan cleric action going in uh, my Dark Elves wave content, you know? Okay, fresh epic Nazana. Okay, love. Oh my god, we hit gold again. Sama the gem case. And then all kinds of epics as well. Okay, okay. Just calm the hell down here, dude. What the hell is this? Okay, Nazana is amazing in a stun set. Love this champ. She's got a good old attack all enemies. Big ally protection. Then another attack all enemies with decreased attack uh, on the A3. Uh, yeah, one of the two stun set queens of the Demon Spawn faction. Uh, Samar the Gemcast. I can't even remember what he does. Dude, okay, let me, let, me, let me just scope him out real quick. I remember this guy now, man. Okay, so heals by damage inflicted if he has less HP. Blah, blah, gets a bit of 10-minute fill on his air one. Blah, 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 blah. Some attack all enemies action. It's about as passive, I believe, with uh, Samad. This guy is one of those champs that's kind of like a one-trick pony into uh, Bommel Dreadhorn. Not that I need one. I've got Lady Annabelle. She can solo up to the hardest difficulties of uh, Bommel Dreadhorn. Uh, Dreadhorn. Is Samad used to great effect anywhere else? His kit seems kind of specialized, to be honest. This is kind of nice. Attacks all enemies, uh, chance of stealing two random buffs before attacking, place an extra hit on enemies that have any buffs left. That's just like an interesting skill to have. And I mean, it can't be bad. Interwave content. Samar Gemcast, dude. I also can't remember if I, have a, if I have like an awakening soul sitting around waiting for him either, man. We'll have to check that out. Okay, man. Lovely. More than anything, I'm just hyped about the points we just gained from this pull, man. That was a hell of a lot. That goes a long way towards recovering our uh, our track here and getting us on track for that mythical skill tom. Lovely. The larger triple epic pull in this one. 820 tournament points right there. Fain, absolute clan boss demon. And would you know it, Fain is also part of my promo link, uh, which is down below in the description box, man. You can get yourself a free Fain by signing up using that. Let's check on where we are now. Ooh, so we've basically got the legendary tome. Basically, we probably have to commit another like 30 or 40 ancient shard pulls to get the mythical. I think maybe some, somewhere around there. One final hurrah. Let's do this, man. How many was it? Like 2,500 points? Except we only need like 2,000 points, really. Because, uh, of course, we've got the Skeletor coming and he's going to give us those extra 500 points. Absolutely terrible pull in uh, this one to get back into it, which a little bit sad, but okay. I can't exactly whinge about my luck in uh, these pull sessions spent on this main account so far. Both the rancid copy, all epics after, or rather all rare champs after him. Okay, man. So these pulls, not so saucy. You hope for like one and a half epic champs on average per pull, if such a thing were possible. But you know what I mean? Like statistically, like 1.4 epics uh, per 10 that you're pulling. Should be about the average that you're gunning for. A uh, couple of epics here, Lady Arish and Tamoa. Not too bad in terms of points, that is. Don't plan on building out either of those, to be fair. I did consider Timor for a while. She's not a bad champion, to be fair. Um, okay. Pretty terrible, pretty awful. Oh my god. We still need about a thousand points, man. A thousand. 
Oh, nice. We pulled the dude. Lovely, man. Ooh, Soyrin as well. Okay, this is a damn good pull, man. Some Zelata action. I think it's the first time I've ever pulled me is Zelata. I mean, oh my god, dude. He's so good. It's actually so good, dude. 310 duration shield. 20% uh, shield buff equal to this champ's max HP. Continuous heal uh, on the year 2. AoE sleep debuff as well um, on the year 3. Just really, really solid indeed. Okay, man. Great pull. Lovely. All kinds of points spent from that one. Hopefully we can get away with just like one more 10 pull here. Luria definitely helps nice and early on. One more epic would basically seal the deal. We don't get it, but I think it still might be enough anyway, actually. Okay, sweet. We just need to get our hands on Skeletor, and then that's going to basically get us over the line. Might have to put like one or two more shards, uh, or like some mystery shards or something like that, which is totally fine. All right. Holy crap, man. We pulled Tyrant Ixlimor very, very recently indeed. I'm still working on him, building him out, and just farming up his masteries and stuff right now uh, in preparation of that. And then we got our hands on Vulcanus in the very same video. Other two legendaries, of course, would be uh, Dracomorph and Samar Jimkest. Um... Yeah, very, very successful pulling session, man. Feels good. The pulls on the free-to-play account could have been a little bit better, to be fair, but still very, very happy to get my hands on Ruella and know that the fusion is on track on that free-to-play account. Hey, man, we're going to leave it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you're looking to start off a new raid account, you know how to do it. It is with my beginner promo link, which is down below at the top of the video description. Hit that link, use it to create a new raid account. Get yourself a fresh start, man, or just set up a second free-to-play account challenge or something like that. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. Thanks again, everybody. Hope you also did enjoy. Hope you had amazing luck with your pulls. And I'm going to catch all of you guys just a tad bit later, man.